Hey card fighters, Chris here, bringing you a Dragonic Blade Master Kagero budget deck profile. So going straight into the grade threes. We're gonna run four Dragonic Blade Master. His uh, stride bonus skill, so to speak, is when you stride, you can counter blast one and choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. <clears throat> so this is kind of the crux of the deck. We're just gonna continue, continually retire your opponent's rear guards so they have no feel. And the generation break two is if you have more rear guards than the opponent, then you get plus 5,000 and a crit, which is great for pressuring your opponent in that end game. Um, so moving on is four Perdition Dragon, Breakdown Dragon. And he's kind of like your game finisher. So his first skill is if there's another unit in the middle column, you're gonna get plus 3,000 for during your turn. Um, so that's good for, you know, when he's in Legion, he's going to hit um, 23 by himself, so you don't always need a booster to make him hit good numbers. And then his Legion skill is really the game finisher of the deck, is you counter blast 3, and then you can retire a column. And then if you, if they have 2 or less rear guards, then you can unflip 1 damage. So most of the time his ability is only going to cost you 2 damage, or sorry, 2 counter blasts. So then, going into the grade twos, we run three of his mate. And his mate's effect is if you're in lesion and something in the same column is retired, you get plus 5,000. So, you know, when you you ride over him to go for the late game, he uses effect, you're gonna get plus 10,000 when you retire a column with him. So I'll help you push for those numbers. And then we run four Twilight Arrow Dragon. Um, the skill is at generation break 1. When it attacks and it's boosted, you need to counter blast 1 and you can choose an opponent's unit and retire it. So this is good just to get some cheap retires and help control your opponent's field if they're going too crazy. And lastly, we run 4 of the generation break 1 12k attackers. And we run them just for a little consistency. Um, there's some 6k... 6k grade ones in the deck, um, and it can even go in front of the draw triggers just to make some pretty easy columns. And then grade ones, we're in four of the new perfect guards. So keep your damage unflipped so you can just keep retiring your opponent's field, leave them with nothing is the goal. And then we run four of the stride fodder lava flow dragon so this card gets plus two grade when you use it to stride so it counts as a grade three which means all you need is this to stride and then its other effect is when you call it to rear guard you can reveal a grade three and then search your deck for dragonic blade master and put it into your hand and then you discard a card um, so you don't have to discard whatever grade three you revealed which is good because sometimes you want to keep that grade three as stride fodder um, so not only is this to help us continually stride, but also to ensure that we're riding Dragonic Blade Master first to control the field and then set up for the final turn where we ride Breakdown Dragon. So next we run two of Dragon Monk Go Gokuru. And this is another like final turn booster type card because at generation break one, when your opponent's unit is retired, it gets plus 5,000. So if you do the wombo combo where you use breakdown skill twice to retire two columns, he's going to get plus 20, which is going to be super hard to guard. And speaking of the wombo combo, you're going to use um, energy flame ethonic to help you do that. And his effect is you put him into the soul. Or when he's on rear guard, you put him into the soul when you retire a unit and you unflip two damage. So... That's gonna help you do um, breakdown skill because that skill, using that twice would technically cost you um, six counter blasts, which isn't really possible. So you need him to help you unflip and use that skill more than once. And our starter is Red Pulse Draco Kid. Uh, we use him to ensure that we're gonna get Dragonic Blade Master first, as well as searching for a grade three we can use for Stride Fodder. Um, just keep up those strides. And finally, triggers. We run five draw. 
um, five crit. Oops, and two stand. And the reason we run the stand is not only to um, help give a little pressure with the 12k beaters, but also because he has an amazing effect. Um, at Generation Break 1, when you retire a unit, you can shuffle this guy back into your deck and choose um, another unit and give it plus 10,000. So this is another like final turn push type card, and it can, it can bump um, your 12k attackers up to 22 by itself which is huge. And one thing to note is if you retire two units, like with breakdown skill, you can't activate this effect twice before it gets shuffled back. You can only do it once. And then lastly, obviously, is going to be four heals. <coughs> and then going into the, the generation zone, the stride units, we're going to do four root flares. And for those that don't know his skill, is um, it's an activate, choose a copy of Root Flare and flip him face up. And then, um, hold on. Yeah, and then if you have two or more face up units in the G zone, you can retire an opponent's column, uh, which is super good because it's a free two, re retire two for, for no counter blast at all. Um, which really stops your opponent's assault. And then we're going to run two Mahmuds. Um, this is a good opening stride because you just put that pressure on your Vanguard where you can't let it hit or else you're going to get a free retire. And then lastly, we run one Atmos. And the reason we run one Atmos is because he's a good finisher card. Um, just being able to counter blast one for plus 10,000 lets him hit for numbers around like 50,000 sometimes, which is really bad for your opponent if they don't have a perfect guard. So, should that be it? Or do I need to do an outro?